بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ثم أما بعد This is Walid Musad speaking to you from the beautiful city state of Singapore We have been here the last few days of Sha'ban teaching a course on the hikam of Ibn Atayla Sakandari rahimahullah and it behooves us to reflect a little bit in these final days of Sha'ban before the beginning of Ramadan to prepare well for this blessed month that is coming upon us and the Sahaba were known to have said as well as the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that he would make the dua al mubarik lana fi Rajab wa Sha'ban wa balighna Ramadan so they would ask for blessings in Rajab and Sha'ban the two months previous to Ramadan uh, in anticipation of the fasting in Ramadan and the Prophet is reported to have said man qama aw sama Ramadan iman wa ihtisaban ghufir lahu ma taqaddama min dhanbi two narrations of the same hadith whoever fasts Ramadan in anticipation of the reward will have all of his sins expiated and whoever uh, prays the tarawih or the qiyam of Ramadan also will have his sins expiated so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accords us this beautiful opportunity to renew our relationship with him to instill new habits, uh, to become more pious people in this blessed month. And the month of Ramadan is about the breaking of bad habits and the instillment of new habits. So with the fasting, with the abstaining from food and drink and uh, carnal uh, pleasures during the day in Ramadan, then one, it's hoped thereafter, can avoid also the matters that are always haram, uh, which include the, all of the vices both Dhahr al-Ithm and Batan al-Ithm. The Dhahr al-Ithm or the outward sins uh, that our limbs may incur and also the inward sins, the sins of the heart, the vices such as enmity and rancor and envy and uh, having a bad opinion of others and so forth. This is a month and opportunity for us to remove and to replace these vices with virtues. So it's a virtuous and blessed month. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He places certain um, premiums on certain places and certain times. So he places a premium on the time of Ramadan. It's a more blessed month than other months. Uh, within the month of Ramadan, we believe there is Laylatul Qadr, which is the night of power, which is greater than uh, 1,000 months in its potential to bring the believer closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We establish the Tarawih or the Qiyam prayer in Ramadan, where nightly after we break our fast, we all join together after Salat al Isha and we pray the eight or the twenty rakahs of the Taraweeh prayer, uh, supplicating and uh, imploring our Lord therein to forgive us our sins and to accept our fasting. And Ramadan has been traditionally a season by which Muslims uh, not only celebrate the blessings and mercy of Allah upon them, but it's also a season for one to gain uh, great, greater acquaintance with his fellow Muslims to renew relationships, to fix relationships that had prior to Ramadan been in a state of, uh, uh, of despair that needed some rectification to it. So in these final days and these final nights before Ramadan, we reflect, we should start our khitam of the Qur'an, we should start reflecting upon the Qur'an and reading it in anticipation of this great month. We should try to rectify those relationships before the month, the holy month begins. And our preparation of Ramadan should be in addition to the physical preparation people do by gathering and buying their dates and the food that they will use to break the fast but more importantly we should have a spiritual preparation uh, to implore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to beseech him to ask him to forgive our sins to uh, put ourselves in a mindset where we can have the great benefit of this blessed month and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless the Muslims of Singapore and the Muslims of the Malay Archipelago in particular and the Muslims uh, all over the world in general as we uh, anticipate the beginning of this blessed month. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidul Mursaleen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.